Hey guys, my name is Bob. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Geyser into your computers. And a quick explanation of what Geyser is, is basically it allows you to play uh, Java Edition Super on your Bedrock Edition. It is not fully completed yet, but it's quite nice so far. So, in case you're watching this, I recommend that you take a look. So what you'll want to do first of all is go to this page here to download it. I'll have it linked in the description for you guys who want to do it without having to type it all in. And then click here to download it. And while it's downloading, you might as well just go to your desktop quick and you're going to want to make a folder. It can be named whatever you what? I don't know. It can be named whatever you want and yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to name it Geyser 2 because I already have Geyser down here. There a long on it. And then just open it up. And then you should be able to just slide your file into it. And then at this point, what you will want to do is you'll want to make a text document. Just name it start.bet. Or start.txt, I guess. But yeah, I'll just do that. And then you want to right click on it and hit edit. Now, we'll bring up in a notepad file. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to type this into it. Basically, what this will allow it to do it was it will allow it to uh, start the jar file. Once you type this in, control S to save. And then go here to rename this. And this doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what the name is, but the name that it has right here has to be the same name that is on the jar file itself. And once you do that, you should be able to just start it. and it will bring up a command prompt like this. Don't worry about the warning right here, that is quite normal from what I've learned. And so once that is done, you can click the X on it, open the configuration file for it. And here you will want to know that basically this right here, in this port forwarded, it will only allow you to play from your own computer or, s or another device on your network. This right here will be the IP of the server that you're connecting to on Java Edition. So right here I will be naming it hypixel.net and leave the port the same. Since it's not a cracked server, I will want the authentication type to be changed to online. And then this right here, don't really worry about this kind of stuff, but I will be changing this so that it will actually give the correct like amount of players and sometimes the motto of the day works for me, sometimes it doesn't, but usually it does. This right here is the amount of players that can connect to the proxy that you are hosting. And this right here, I recommend that you turn this on if you want to get like notifications about like stuff that's happening through the proxy's end. But I'm going to leave that off for now because I don't really need it. Once you're done with that, Control us to save again, and then start the bat file. And it should come up with this again right here. Once you have done that, go to your Minecraft and click play. Here it shows Hypixel. It will be under the Friends tab, provided you have gotten it set up properly. Once you're here, you can just click on it, and it will take a little bit sometimes for me, but sometimes not. At this point, you will want to log in with your Minecraft Java Edition credentials. So not your Xbox Edition ones, your Bedrock Edition. So for this part, I'm just going to hide my screen because the password does not blur out. I, will, I would like to make that one very clear.
And with that, you are now into the Hypixels, um, lobby. I left off playing Skywars here on this account on Java Edition, so that's what it looks like here. So yeah, that's basically how you do it. Now I'd like to point out that the movement, it, it isn't the best yet on Hypixel especially because of their anti-cheat. Depending on the different anti-cheat, it will work in different ways for movement and stuff and interaction with blocks. And the last thing I can say about Geyser is probably that the progress on it is going very well from what I can see. I just started using it last week and I'm very fond of it. Keep up the good work, guys. And I hope I hope this can be completed. <laughs> so yeah. I'll also be linking the Geyser um, Discord server down below. See you guys later. Peace.